please, everybody, thank you so much. Hank, thank you, and it will always be Joni. Remember that. Thank you so much. God bless all of you so much, and thank you for this award from the Susan B. Anthony list. Um, Marjorie, thank you so much, and Marilyn for all of your wonderful support. Uh, Hank is right. We started this journey many years ago, and I didn't become, um, you know, a, a qualified, uh, well-spoken candidate overnight, but I always knew that I was pro-life. I've always known that. Um, I defended life in the Iowa State Senate for many years, and when the opportunity came up to serve Iowa in a different capacity at the federal level, I just knew I'm going to be pro-life at the federal level, too. And all through the campaign, I had a lot of pressure coming from the outside. People that would come to me and say, Joni, you are an awesome candidate. You are exactly what we need, except we wish you wouldn't talk so much about life. Thank you, yeah. And you know what I did? I talked about life. <laughs> um, I, I had a, a news reporter at one time describe me as a joyous candidate. And I truly am a joyous person, and I believe in innocent life, and I am going to defend innocent life. It is something, thank you, it is something that I have always felt so strongly about, and there was never any question in my mind where I stood. So with all of those outside pressures, I just kept being on who I was, and I told my team during the campaign that, you know what, if I'm not elected because I am a pro-life woman, then so be it, I will have stood by my principles. And look at where I am today. Thank you. So again, I want to thank all of you. Um, there are hundreds of you here in this room tonight, and I know that all across America, there are thousands and thousands and thousands more pro-life advocates, and all of you engaged in many, many campaigns over, uh, over the last number of years, and we were extremely successful. The winds are at our backs. And we are moving forward. And the successes that we had in this campaign, I know will push forward as we move into 2016 and we elect more pro-life candidates into office in our Congress, in our Senate, and in the White House. I know we're going to do that. You all can. You all contributed so much to all of these campaigns, whether it was through your treasure, through your time, door knocking, making those phone calls, all of it was so very important. It helped so many others. It helped me get where I am today, and I am extremely grateful for that opportunity. That opportunity, you sending me into the United States Senate, gave me very early on a very public platform in responding to the President of the United States to talk about how important innocent life is and how important it is that we protect the most vulnerable in our population. It helped me go on and support the Pain Capable Bill. It helps me support all of these wonderful measures which will help us protect life and all of our unborn babies. Um, again, I've been pro-life for a very long time, and I have a wonderful family. I have three beautiful daughters, six wonderful grandchildren through a blended marriage and a blended family. Um, but our youngest daughter is 15 years old, and I don't get home as much anymore. I'm not able to help her with her homework assignments quite as much as I used to, but we do talk every night on the phone. And so it surprised me a couple weeks ago. She said, hey, Mom, I'm in speech class, and I have to give a speech. And I said, oh, what are the kids doing their speeches on? She said, well, one, one kid, he's going to give his speech on you know, why he thinks we should have a two-hour late start every morning. And I thought, well, OK, that's good. I said, well, what are you doing your speech on? And she said, I'm going to talk about abortion. She is 15 years old, folks, 15 years old. <laughs> 
And I was just sharing this, uh, this message with uh, Tamara Scott, my national committee woman, and a couple of our new friends. And, and I said I was so proud of her. Um, I listened to her give her speech, a five-minute speech, over the phone. And as she was given that speech, I'm an emotional mom. Um, she made me so proud, and I was crying on the phone. And I, at the end of her speech, which was beautiful, I will say beautiful, at the end of that speech, I said, honey, you understand that there are probably going to be other kids in your class that do not agree with you. You know what her wonderful 15-year-old Libby response was? Oh, well, Mom, you know, but that is where we are headed when we have a strong message and why we explain to others why life is so important to us. Our children understand that. And I know it's uncomfortable to talk about at times, but our children need to know what life is and when life begins. So I am quite a proud mom knowing that my 15-year-old daughter is going to be advocating for a very important issue for me as well. Um, again, I want to thank you so much. We have a great future ahead of us. We have a great future for all of these unborn children. We will continue to work hard for you. We will continue to work hard for our innocent lives. And thank you again for this wonderful honor this evening. Marilyn, thank you so much. Marjorie, thank you for your guidance, your companionship. And to all of you, God bless you. God bless you and keep you in all of your endeavors to save our children, protect our future. Uh, I appreciate it, and I look forward to many, many more years of advancing our pro-life movement. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you.